lion can eat a deer and a deer can eat a plant. The main food of predators such as tiger and lion is meat. Let's continue throughout the unit concepts. We will learn and collect evidence about the relationships and interactions that happen between organisms within different ecosystems. This always begins with plants because it's the main organism that can convert the energy of the sun into the energy stored in food. And almost all organisms in the ecosystem depend on it, whether directly or indirectly. This is why in concept one, we will study the basic plant needs for growth and survival. And in concept two, energy flow in ecosystems. We will focus on the interactions between organisms in the ecosystem and understand more about how energy flows within food webs. In the last concept, we will study the changes in food webs together. We will trace how the disappearance of an organism from the food web can affect the ecosystem as a whole. We will collect evidence on the impact of human activities or natural and climate change on the balance of ecosystem. At the end of the unit, we will have all the evidence about the way in which living organisms interact and the feeding relationships among them. This will help us the project build a miniature ecosystem, Bine Nizam Bi Musakbar, meaning we will design an ecosystem ourselves and decide what living organisms and what non-living elements will be inside the system and can guarantee its survival. شوف الحلقة كاملة من خلال تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا مستقبل يبدأ الآن.